Good morning, everybody. It's me again. We are doing a main line for a local excavator who just needs a hole pokes up through some roots here in Nashua. So hope to see you at the end of the video. Thanks. startle the homeowner to let them know that I was here. <laughs> um, oh, okay. Yeah, there's only one car here, so. Alrighty, um, so I'm gonna get this done. Do you need a camera for the city? Do you need a camera? Alrighty, so you don't, you just need me to basically poke a hole so that they're draining. You don't want me to go in with the camera and fully get the roots out. Okay. Okay, so I'll do, I'll do what I gotta do and you'll get a, a video of it too and then we can meet up as far as payment and stuff goes later. Alrighty. No was about uh, I'm less than 50 feet to the center of the street um, so I'm gonna see if they can send a crew out but while I'm waiting for that crew I think I'm just gonna keep going I'm gonna pull this back stick the camera in here um, see if I can push it to exactly where the blockage is and even if I can't see what the actual blockage is or whatever I can at least mark it out so that everybody knows where the blockage is um, Cause it's obviously not on property because the excavating company just replaced this entire line so we're gonna go from there and see what they see what everyone says so
Hello, Dream Medic. That's me. Okay. They, oh, so they, they jetted the main yesterday? running into in this situation because we give him a big job basically hands him money on the side of the platter he then does not disclose full information about a job so I am not not too thrilled with that To be totally honest with you. about you guys but I don't like looking like an asshole or looking like a fucking stupid to see if I can get it to the clog and see if I can see what the clog is and see if I can get the footage because I'm not having an issue getting it. it's just going right through it so I don't know what it is I have no idea there's three manholes there's one about one directly in front of this house and then there's one down just at the intersection that I'm sitting next to on Harris Street. Well, let me throw the camera in here real quick first because if, if, if it comes down to it then the other end of this line is back pitched towards the house then or whatever. Let me see if I can get to this clog first. I was literally just calling to vent. I'm just frustrated that he didn't tell me the city was there. The 
foreman was like refusing to have anybody come out here because they were just out here yesterday. So I told Shay at the wastewater treatment plant that I was going to stick the camera in there, see if I could get to where the clog was, and see if I could figure out exactly what it was. Because, yeah, I'm just letting you know I was just a little frustrated and we did vent. I'm going in with the camera right now. So. junction right now. There's no clock. It's still it's still backed up. That's why it's it's not and it's not coming it's not backwards. You know what I mean? Because I can see water in this cleanup. So it's definitely there's it's there's a belly beyond this clean out point there's a belly in the pipe. Alrighty. Hi. What do you know? Too much. <laughs> so I have the camera in there right now. Um, so in there right now, I have the camera heads all the way out. This is the city connection here. Yep. Um, you can see that they're flowing. Yeah. So when I pull back, that's the pipe, that's the connection that yeah, goes yeah. into the city. So pulling back, they're dry. And then they go underwater oh, that's here. Right there. All right. There's one. So that's, that starts at... The, the whole thing is basically all the way. So it starts at, what, 33 feet? Yeah. And then goes, and it just gets deeper. Yeah, there's a huge sagging. So I go underwater. Let's see where I come up and we'll tell you the footage there. Because you still have water here too. Still underwater at 21 feet. Zeroed it at the top of this cleanup. So 
so I zeroed it from here. Yeah. So well, I know where it goes. It's five feet off the end of that, so it's pretty simple. They just have to figure what the hell they want to do with it. But it's going to, so right now it's going to siphon anyway. It's going to push. Right. As long as they run a ton of water in there, it'll get through that clog, but they need a lot of water, like like the old style toilets where they were three to five gallon flushes. Yeah, yeah, That's yeah. kind of, well, they need a lot of water. water. You know what I mean? So yeah. I don't even know how many people are living in here. I don't know if they're going to be able to get that water volume. If there's one or two people, they're not going to get that water. And then their toilet paper and whatever is just going to sit in that sack. Yeah, no, I don't probably end up doing the same type of thing you did. All right, so I'll pass that on to the city. Y'all don't know about it. So, See if they um, want to do anything about it. What is send you this video too. Um, yeah, so that way yeah. Alrighty everybody, that does it for that one. So there's a big sag in the pipe. Don't know. Alrighty. So hopefully you're enjoying the videos and if you're liking them and you haven't hit that subscribe button yet, click that button. And hope to see you at some more videos that we do. Thanks.